Dear friends, this is my tutorial 29. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to do and plot ECD spectra of alpha S pinene using Gaussian and multi WFN softwares. Okay, this is the calculated ECD spectra of alpha S pinene. So, this is the 3D model of uh, alpha S pinene. So, this is the paper. General of Physical Chemistry A. Okay, they published this uh, alpha of pinene uh, uh, ECD spectra using uh, different uh, theoretical models and also compared with the experimental one. So here you can see they used three different theoretical models. So we have used only B3 LYP model only. So I compared with that uh, my result with this one is uh, absolutely matching with this uh, ECD spectra. Okay. So if you want to see this paper, just visit to this way D D D Y number, you will get this paper and also you can compare yourself, okay? So before going to do this ECD spectra, so we have to get that 3D structures of this alpha S pinene, okay? We can also get that R S pinene, alpha R S pinene also. So I, I will tell you where to get these two structures uh, to do the ECD spectra, okay? So for that, just to go to Google, just to type yes, alpha pinene, okay. So it will show many re result here. So you go to this uh, third one. This is the alpha pinene. This is the pubchem, okay, site. Just to click it. So you will see the name name of the things. Alpha pinene is there. If you see it down, one yes, uh, alpha pinene. This is the S yes configuration, S yes confirmer one. Okay, just you can uh, go down. You will get that 2D structure. If you go down, and you will get the 3D confirmer. Okay, so you can also in, uh, you can also view this like this. Uh, this is the interactive model only. So if you want to download this structure, just you click download coordinates. If you click, this will appear. Just you click it. First one is yes, DF file format. Just you click it. It will open here. Okay. So this is the one and if you want to download that uh, R configuration also it's very simple only just to go back and you can uh, type R instead of yes you can type R and search it you will get the R alpha pinene okay. So this is also you can see the pubchem site just you click it similarly you go there um, down uh, the 3D conformer just you click that coordinate just you can uh, click this SDF format okay you will get the R confirmer also so I will show you uh, viewing using this uh, gas view these two structures the differences okay so open your gas view just close it so go to download place so this is the first downloader one in the yes configuration okay just we can drag this yes one so this is the yes the second one is our confirmer okay just you can put into that drag into that you you will get our confirmer okay this is the our confirmer so you can see clearly these two things okay so this is the yes confirmer this is the our confirmer okay so likewise you can download a different kind of confirmers in order to do the ECD spectra calculations okay that's all so we will use this uh, yes confirmer to do the ECD spectra if you want you can also do our confirmer ECD spectra yourself okay no problem so now we will go to the our ECD spectra folder okay calculation folder so this is the our ECD calculation folder so in order to do the ECD spectra, first we have to optimize our uh, confirmers. Okay, we have I'm using here only the yes confirmer. Uh, just I have already optimized. I, I will show you the input and output files. So I will show you the input file uh, using Gauss view. So this is the GJF input file I have created. So this is the yes confirmer input file okay uh, alpha pine okay this is the one so so i will show you this in input file using notepad plus plus so this is the alpha pine input file 
so here you have to mention the percentage chk the name of the system and the chk this is the important then you have to give the memory and the pro share this is also very important so yeah, basically if you are using windows just you can 6mw at year 2 okay if you are using linux environment you have to change according to your system configuration then you have to mention the theory which theory you want to use to optimize the system then you have to mention basis set and you have to give optimization and the frequency keyword okay then you have to put a space then you have to put the system name then space then you have to put zero then you have to put the spin multiplicity this is the total charge is zero okay spin multiplicity one okay this is the cartesian coordinates so this is the things okay just you have to uh, get this cartesian coordinate from uh, using that gauss view so okay so so if you want this uh, cartesian coordinate so i will tell you how to get so this is the sdf file i already downloaded just you can drag it okay just you can go to file and save as a uh, gjf file okay here you can see gjf file it will save as a cartesian coordinate okay so refresh so this is that that uh, gjf file okay so you see we will get our cartesian coordinate so you have to use this cartesian coordinate in order to make that optimization input file okay so this is that output file is already optimized so i will show you opening with notepad plus plus so this is the one we have used the optimization frequency calculation okay if you go down you will see the normal termination of gaussian that means system uh, optimized without any error so if you want to view this optimized configuration also you can view using gauss view just to drag this uh, output file into that uh, gauss view you will see the uh, yes conformer of this uh, alpha fine in okay now you have to save this cartesian coordinate to do the iecd spectra calculation okay so for that what you have to do just uh, open your output file then go to save uh, your file option and save and, uh, and save it to one folder okay ecd just you can type any ecd just you can make any name just you can uh, save it okay just close it this is no need so this is the our optimized cartesian coordinate okay we have to use this cartesian coordinate in order to get our ecd spectra okay so i already made that input file using this optimized cartesian coordinate i will show you that one so this is the the pine in that s configuration uh, input files okay i will show you opening with uh, notepad plus plus so here you see so yes pine in i mentioned just ecd and uh, like name so what i am doing just i will mention here so then you have to give the memory and n pro share so actually i did this uh, ecd calculation using uh, uh, linux software so that's why i mentioned here uh, memory 20 gb and n pro share 40 so if you are using windows just you have to change according to your windows uh, specification so 6 mw and you can default to give 2 okay then here i used uh, b3 lip theory here so i used 631 b3 lip theory here and this is the basis set i used for this study so here you have to mention this keyword in order to get your ecd spectra the td equal to singlet n state 30 this is actually uv keyword only so in order to get that uh, in ecd spectra we have to give the same keyword only okay then if you want to perform the ecd spectra in solvent phase just you can mention the solvent calculation using this keyword okay if you don't want to put a solvent just you can remove it no problem that's all so this is the actually root section uh, for this uh, ecd spectra okay uh, carefully you can uh, put this uh, uh, two keywords it's okay then you have to give space then you have to give the name of the system so i'm doing the ecd calculation just i will add the ecd name here here and here okay then space then you got to put zero mean zero charge then one spin multiplicity then uh, optimized cartesian coordinates okay this is the optimized cartesian you have to mention here okay you have to take from that optimized cartesian and paste it here make it your input file for the ecd calculation okay that's all this is the ecd spectra uh, input file just you can submit your uh, the windows version or linux version you, you will get your uh, corresponding uh, uh, this output file okay 
I will show you this output file. This is the output file I got. Uh, okay, for this calculation, just you can open it. You can see here yeah, the two keywords is there. Okay, this is the important. If you go down, you will see the normal termination of Gaussian 16. That means the calculation completed normally. So if you want to see here yeah, that uh, the transition, okay, you can see. So we mentioned the 30 transition. So this is the excitation energy oscillator ascent. So we have mentioned the 30 transition means we will get the 30 transition here. You can see here up to excitation 30 is there. Okay, that's why you mentioned 30. If you want, you can also mention 50 in that input file. You will get 50 transitions. Okay. So that's all. So now we will use this output file in order to get the ECD spectra. Okay. So for that we have to open our uh, multi WFN. So to download this multi WFN software, just you can uh, visit Google, type in the multi WFN. You will get that Windows version of multi WFN. Okay. So okay, just we will do that one. Just open that folder. I already downloaded. So just you can execute this uh, double clicking with the multi WFN. So actually this software we no need to install. Okay. It directly we can run. Okay. Just double click. So it will open our um, multi WFN. Just you have to press enter. Then only it will open that uh, folder. So we have to locate our uh, calculation folder. Okay. So for that what you have to do, we have to go to our corresponding folder. Go to C. Okay, yes, this is the our ECD spectra folder of all power fine in S pine. Okay, just you can click this and highlight this, it will show if you see this is that uh, output file. So, this is the input file. Okay, just select output file and uh, uh, this uh, click open. So, it will open this uh, main menu function of uh, that multi WFN. Now, you, you can see different kind of this there. So what you have to do, you can see the 11th option. 11th option is plot IR, Raman, UV visible or V NM or something. So here also ECD says that just you have to uh, type 11 and enter. So now we have to select which spectra we want. First we selected the we want spectra. So here we have to specifically select which spectra we want. We want only ECD. The number of ECD is 4. Just to type 4 and enter. And it will ask uh, two kind of things. So length reference station, velocity reference station. So they recommended that velocity recommendation. Just you press uh, two and enter. So uh, that's all. So now we have to view our uh, plot. Okay. So to view our ECD spectra, what you have to do? Just you can uh, type zero and enter. So we will get our ECD spectra of alpha S pinein. Okay. So likewise, you can also do for uh, or alpha S pinein. You will get the uh, similar kind of uh, um, ECD spectra. Okay. So if you want to save this uh, ECD spectra in your corresponding folder, so I will tell you how to do. Just you have to uh, type one. So if you type one means save graphical file of the spectrum in current folder. So just you can type one and enter it will save in, save into that folder so if you want x y z data set so that also we will get using origin we will use, uh, plot using this data okay so for that what you have to do type two and enter so now we will see so our file everything uh, generated here so here you can see and uh, this is the one ecd spectra just we can click we will view so this is the one that is uh, multi WFN saved ECD spectra. Okay. So you, you can also use this spectra for your uh, publications. So here you can see curve file and line file. You can use this curve file in order to uh, plot your ECD spectra using origin uh, software. Okay. So just you can uh, drag this is uh, uh, spectrum curve file into the origin. You, you will get that spectra. Okay. So if you want to uh, play with this uh, spectra, you will see different kind of option is there. So we can also alter that uh, 
range yeah, yeah, x y range also so whatever you want you can do easily so this is the up to basic level i will teach you so you, if you want to do more advanced into this one just you can uh, play with this numbers okay so that's all thank you for watching if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for my future video update uh, thank you thank you so much for watching enjoy